Will the Supreme Court of the United States take up this state's assault weapon ban challenge? There are six or seven petitions for certiorari before the court right now from groups like Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition, the Illinois State Rifle Association, and others. And we're getting very close to the date when the, the justices are going to decide whether they're going, whether they're going to take this up or not. And the Illinois challenge isn't the only one before them either. There's also the uh, Maryland case, it used to be Bianchi v. Frosch, now it's Bianchi v. Brown. I think the Supreme Court is going to have to take one of these up and could be good. Now, I also want to tell you guys that uh, Sportsman's Guide has a huge sale for y'all for Hornady ammunition specific to my audience. Uh, they're great, great company, uh, Sportsman's Guide. They've been supporting us for a very long time. And if you are interested in the outdoors, Sportsman's Guide's where you need to check because they have some great deals. Uh, from hunting, fishing, camping, and hiking, you'll find it all at Sportsman's Guide. Like I said, this sale is just for Guns and Gadgets viewers. If you're checking out and you're buying some Hornady ammo, regardless of what it's for, caliber, doesn't matter, use code GUNGAG5. It'll be in the description and in the first pinned comment. G-U-N-G-A-G-5 -G to save 5% on Hornady ammo through May 31st. So jump on that, guys and gals. And don't forget, when you spend $100 or more, and you use code GADGETS, you can save $20 off the first 100 you spend. And you can just keep doing that as many times as you shop there. So thanks to Sportsman's Guide for the hookup, guys and gals. Link is down below. Check it out. And I want to tell you all about this case. So I, I guess, how did we get here? Obviously, the Protect Illinois Communities Act, PICA, was signed as fast as Governor J.B. Pritzker could possibly do it right after he was re-elected. And it banned what they deemed assault weapons, AR-15s, semi-automatic rifles, as well as those terrible, horrible high-capacity magazines. You know, because people, that's what was doing all of the, all the crime. These rifles and magazines were getting up in the middle of the night without their owners knowing. They were sneaking out of the house and they were just assaulting people. Not the criminals, not those jackass thugs who were doing it. It's obviously those sleepwalking firearms and magazines. It's just amazing. Um, these, these multiple uh, petitions for certiorari before the Supreme Court right now challenge the assault weapon ban in Illinois, saying that, uh, among many other things, that these items are commonly owned, thus they were banned in violation of the Supreme Court's Heller decision. Also, that they violate the Bruin standard of text, history, and tradition because, because there were no bans on any of these things when the Second Amendment was adopted and ratified, ratified and adopted back in 1791, text, history, and tradition. Um, so, obviously, the pica should be struck down. We all know that. We'll see if the Supreme Court is going to get involved. Now, the Seventh Circuit, which is where Illinois is, they, they took a way out their posi position when they were, uh, there was an emergency or an injunction request was before them. And in, in denying the injunction, the court, the panel said that, um, that these, these firearms were, were, they could be banned because they were machine gun like. That was machine gun like was the term that they used in rendering their decision not to take up the case, um, not to give an injunction. So because they were machine gun like, they could be banned. So I guess you can ban anything that is looks like, or I mean, maybe a a, a child's drawing, maybe uh, maybe some models, some miniature models. They're machine gun like. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, uh, it's an insignificant way of determining uh, if a state can ban an item which they have. They have no power to do. They can't take away your rights, folks. The government cannot take away your rights. We don't get them from government. We had them already pre-existing. 
The Constitution just affirmed those pre-existing rights. The Constitution is a limitation on government. It doesn't give them any power to take away our rights. So, machine gun-like. The Seventh Circuit also said uh, that the, they were especially, especially dangerous weapons was the term they used. And because they were especially dangerous, even if they were in common use, then the government could ban them as long as the government claimed that it was necessary to keep communities safe. Well, they should just ban murder. They should ban criminals. Oh, wait. That stuff's already illegal, right? Breaking the law, being a violent felon, a violent criminal, uh, killing people just for whatever, that's all illegal. Oh, well, we don't go after crime in Democrat-controlled cities. I forgot, sorry, my bad. Um, but we, like I said, we are getting very close to the day where the Supreme Court will decide these multiple challenges, and they're going to be doing that on, in their conference on May 16th. So it's right around the corner, just uh, two weeks away. And I, I, I believe that they, well, I believe they should take it up, right? I think they should take up both of them, Maryland and, and Illinois, and, and destroy them so that all of the assault weapon bans, all these just made up bans on something because of a cosmetic feature, like in California and like in New York, like in Massachusetts, they should all be gone. They should have already been gone, but these anti-gun states will find the smallest window of opportunity where the Supreme Court doesn't absolutely smash any option of poking a hole in their decision. Like, they're poking holes in the Bruin decision. They're poking holes in the Heller decision. I, and I, I want people to remember, we all know Heller. We all know McDonald's. We all know Bruin. Kitano is a huge case, guys and gals. It was unanimous. The Supreme Court, nine to nothing, said, hey, Massachusetts, you can't ban, in this case, stun guns because they were in common use. And there were only 200,000 owners in the country, an estimate. 200,000. Tens of millions of these scary rifles. And we've already gone over the numbers in a previous video. I'll poke it above. But when it comes to standard capacity magazines... Uh, three quarters of a billion of those are in common use in our citizenry's hands. So if 200,000 was a number they said you couldn't ban them because of, then what say them about tens of millions and hundreds of millions when it comes to the magazines? We're going to find out soon. If you want to stay in the know, then subscribe to the channel down below. I will keep you in the loop. And when it comes to the hearing, should it happen, I'll cover it live. So if you want to watch that too, then hit that bell icon, turn it on to all notifications, and hope you have a phenomenal rest of the day. Guys and gals, be safe. Stay vigilant and carry a gun. You are your own first responder. Nobody is coming to save you. You're on your own. Take care.